Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, I'm Mr. Babel and I'm back with the third Deponia game. Yay! Alright, way back there the first game, I kind of jumped the gun by saying how dark it would get. And the first two, while well, the second one touched on a few things, didn't really get that messed up, but I'm warning you, this one, it really starts. <sighs> Hello, Rufus. Oh no, not again! Yeah. I'm happy to see you, too. I want you to repair this junk press for Doc's mobile office. <laughs> oh, right. Mobile office. Sure. Look, don't try to put one over on me, Tony. I know exactly what's going on. This isn't a junk press, and it's not even a tutorial. No, it's simply a recurring nightmare. And the fact that you're here is the ultimate proof. Do you really think this is fun for me? I mean, who needs a tutorial for a point-and-click adventure? <laughs> yeah! That's what I'm saying. Let's just get this over with, all right? I shouldn't even be here. I'm supposed to be with the Resistance in Port of Fisco battling the Organon. Instead, I'm explaining how to use a mouse to my dumbass ex-boyfriend. Oh, excuse me. You think you need to explain something to me? All right, all right. Which of us has already had to slog through all this garbage twice? Hey, I know this tutorial inside out. To start with, I have to talk to you. Oh, great. Starting right off with the worst bit. Yeah. And to do that, I use, uh, uh... The, um, the mouse, perhaps? I know that. Since when do I need you to help me? Then what are you waiting for? Just point at me with the cursor and left-click as soon as you see the speech bubble icon. Hey! No prompting! I could skip this, but we all want to see Rufus get flattened again. Talk to Tony. You don't have to say it out loud. Hey, I'm not talking to you. You are! You clicked on me! Yeah, and I regret it already. At any rate, there's nothing else here you can teach me. You don't even know how to... Uh... T um... Hmm. How to look at an object? Here we go. Everybody knows that. Oh, yeah? So how? You point at it with your mouse pointer and right-click when you see the eye icon. Uh-uh-uh. You mean left? No, I mean right, where the eye icon is. Oh, so that's the right that everybody's always talking about. You know, I always just called it left, too. It's a lot easier to remember. But if you say so, then I'll try your oh-so-wonderful right on this thing that's lying on the ground by pointing at it with the cursor and right-clicking as soon as the eye icon appears. Ah, there. Please, don't overextend yourself. We go. I'm what is it? Done as that soon as I can. is an interference converter. <laughs> oh, yeah. First time around, it was the cathode plunger. Then it was the reactor thing head. C can't you guys just be consistent? <clears throat> Whatever. Call it what you want. You just need it to repair the press. And how, pray tell, am I supposed to do that when I can't even pick it up? Mm, you can pick it up. I can then skip the left. just tell nah, you how to do it There must parts. be an easier way. <sighs> I just want the funny part, the actual banter parts. Oops. Where did it go? Didn't you say you know what you're doing? When you pick something up, it lands in your inventory. To open it, all you have to do is turn the mouse wheel. All right. Hey, there it is. There it is. Exactly. That's your inventory. Yeah, obviously. Yeah, obviously. And here you can see all the stuff you're carrying around with you. You remember how to do that, don't you? Put together. Hey, look, Tony. I fixed the part. I'll believe that when I see it in use. <laughs> yeah, you will. My tinkering skills are unbelievable. <laughs> And we all know where this is going. <laughs> it fits. The next thing you have to do is... Hey, hey, you don't have to hold my hand all the way through this. I can manage the rest on my own. If you say so. We got the button. When you're ready, you have to... No, 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 no. Hang on a minute. It's just a button. I can manage this without you. Hmm... Hey, Tony. What is it now? What would you say if, this time, I left the honor of pushing the button to you? Fine. I had a bet with Doc that you couldn't do this. What? But I did do it. The press works. Here, I'll show you. 
He never learns. <sighs> now I owe Doc five zlotties, but it was worth it. Ooh, Pokey the singing narrator guy. My fellow Elysium, oh, I saying. know how much you have been looking forward to this day. Regrettably, however, I must inform you that Inspector Cletus and his companion have not yet returned. Therefore, we cannot yet exclude the remote possibility that down on Deponia, part of the population have somehow managed to survive among the junk to this day. Prime Controller Ulysses has confirmed that the Organon is ready to fulfill its mission. As soon as the inspection team gives the all clear on the return from the ruins of Porta Fisco, nothing will stand in the way of the spectacular start of our journey to Utopia. It is only a matter of hours until we can finally give the Organon the signal to go ahead and blow up our home planet. The good news is, due to this delay, the water slide will stay open for now. Hey, water slide. I don't know. Is this place really just one big theme park? No wonder if it wants to get there. So there he is. I just jumped the gun a bit earlier. So this is the third strike, you're dumping me just like a trash bag. Why? Just because of some must tart on the carpet, you pathetic dog head. I assume that you're humored to just bite the dust. But this isn't over yet. Here you can bet on that. The last part of my day will surely appease and change your mind anyhow. So turn on your death aid now. The story goes on for good things come in threes. The saga picks up in threes. The other two I knew from the get pretty much start to finish. Hey, wait a minute. Smoke! Fire! Mm. What? Good morning, ladies. Doc, the fire extinguisher. I'll wake those and get the mine detector. Take it easy. I'm just making breakfast here. Fried sludge with honey. Oh, not again. The allergy medication is in the cupboard with a bear trap. Nonsense. The sludge is just a bait. I am fishing at this very moment. I'm using the diving crane to catch something big. Oh. That's a new one. Uh, no problem. Let me think. We should be in the Sea of Shards by now. Do we have enough bandages left? Um, Doc? Yes? This isn't the Sea of Shards. What? Oh, right. I forgot to tell you. I hatched a great plan while you were asleep. What have you done? I found an abandoned on-ramp to the Organon's monorail track. And so I thought to myself, Bozo's cutter used to be a rail vehicle, right? Rufus! What? You steered us onto an Organon cruiser route. Yeah. And it'll take us directly to the Upper Ascension Station in Port of Fisco. Where the Organon's headquarters are. And? where the last high boat to Elysium is anchored. That was the plan, wasn't it? I will use my amazing resemblance to Cletus to sneak on board, together with gold. But... So come on, let's eat something first. <laughs> That's the diving crane. I've got a bite. I thought we weren't on the water anymore. So what? What do you mean, so what? So what took the bait? Uh-oh. Oh crap. Oh crap. <laughs> he seems a little flustered. Now I almost wish I hadn't fed his pills to the baby seal. Hey Doc, uh, how's it going? Rufus, the cutter is breaking apart. You've got to do something. And I certainly don't mean chat. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, what else is that? <sighs> Two lights are blinking on the radar screen. A small green one in the middle, and a big red one behind it. It can only mean one thing. We're out of confetti! Yeah. Yeah, I don't think we want to wake up, Bozo. Definitely a feat for the eyes. We should dig in before they do. Oh, crap. I guess this means Bozo will finally accept the fact that he needs a new cutter. Oh, Rufus, you were so right. You are such a good friend. It's his own fault. <laughs> what a lard bag. You should probably just smack your head against the side of the ship until you stop moving. Uh-oh. What's kept you, Argus? I was just talking to the Elysian Council of Elders. They're starting to get nervous. We're on our way, Prime Controller. Inspector Cletus and his companion are on board. There will be no further delays. I should very much hope so. Ulysses, over. Cletus and Donna. Donna's Donna. Treason! Stop the engines, Argus! Cletus, you have no business here. You're supposed to stay in the cabin until we reach Port of Fisco. That will have to wait. This woman is not my fiancée. Put his eyeballs in the waffle iron! I know that. She's a Deponian with a brain implant, which also happens to contain the cartridge with the mind of your fiancé. No, it doesn't. Do you think this sounds like gold? Chew flesh from their ankles! Rotten vinegar! <laughs> Maybe she's about to have, um, uh, you know, a visit from Aunt Flo. Not Rubbish. Funny. That Rufus pulled a fast one on me. We need to turn back. You fool! Excuse me, bailiff, sir. There's something on the track. What do I care? Run it over. We have no time to lose. The inspector has forgotten something important, and he's in trouble if he can't find it soon. Offenbot, you will go with Inspector Cletus. As you wish, bailiff. Okay. <laughs> Is there a better way of saying the organon or what I eat for breakfast? Maybe. But that one was pretty darn cool. What one? So your stupid crane hooked onto the Organon cruiser. Phew! Goal! Goal! Hang on, I'm coming! Okay, this part I remember. Ouch! Because if I do nothing, I get to see Rufus suffer Ooh. quite a bit. Close! I get duck. Ouch! There we go. Huh. There we go. I can reach. Uh, I can make it in time, and he just takes it up the side of the head. Ooh. And I've already done this, so I can't get it again. But this is an achievement Close. for just letting Rufus suffer all, but I'll be good. Ouch! Fine. Move on with it. And. Whoa. Whoa. Hi! Ha. Huh. <sighs> Gold, what the heck are you doing? I'm trying to free the cable. Please, get off there. It's dangerous. And here I was thinking you don't even know that word. Sure I do. Danger is my middle name. Actually, I meant please. But if you want to help, the crane is awfully wobbly. You need to tighten the screws. Oh, all right. No problem. Okay. The crane might break at any moment. I need to do something. Anything. Trouble is you can't really win here. No You've chosen you a romantic location. Well, you refused to go to the theater. Yeah, at least the seats would have been more comfortable. For starters, you might want to tighten the screws. In the meantime, I'll try to free the cable. Consider it done. No matter which one you work on, huh? the others will fall out. Hey! Gradually. I keep tightening one, the other ones go out Oops. too. I could just go back and forth, but... Oh! Any one. progress? Well, uh, yeah. There is some, uh, progress, uh, so to speak. Okay, I'll do it. Uh-oh! <laughs> Wasn't me! Damn it, Rufus, we're going to fall! No, we won't! I'm slipping! No problem, I've gotcha! Action. 
emergency. Oh, am I supposed to do something here? I did look like cutting. Anything? Uh, and who are you? Oh, uh, just a fan. Don't pay any attention to me. A what? A fan? Exactly. Just carry on, will you? But uh, just a teeny tiny question first. How are you going to get rid of it? How? Uh, wh uh, what? You know, what spectacular Rufus maneuver are you going to use? Oh, that. Fan uh... I'll confuse him with my blackout tactics. Ah, a residual light shot. I need to set my flash to the highest level. Blackout? You're bluffing. Perhaps I am. Perhaps I definitely am. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll switch on my light vision just in case. There. Done. Do your thing, Rufus. Man, this is going to be so epic. Um, okay, okay. One, two... I'm blind! I'm blind! <laughs> what? Forgot that was your first solution. <laughs> and... Uh, Ta-da! Uh, wow! You actually did it! Yeah. Ah, uh, that's me, you know. How on earth did you do that? <laughs> Wait for the photo. And now you're gonna go save Gold, right? Who? Oh, uh, her, sure. <laughs> How are you gonna do that? One thing at a time. The two of us should have a talk first. Um, we should? Yeah, fan to idol. Wow, what an honor. So, you're a fan of mine. My name is Barry. I traveled for miles only so I could talk to my greatest idol just this once. Well, then let me talk instead of boring me with the story of your empty life. <laughs> what are you doing aboard an Organon cruiser? Oh, uh... Uh, that's a pretty interesting story. Too bad it's not about me. Let's discuss more exciting stuff. For instance, what about my exploits? Oh, boy! We should use the time for an interview. Uh, really? Shouldn't you be saving gold first? Ah, uh, her. All in good time. A true hero must take care of his fan base. Wow. You Dick. really are the greatest. Dick. Do you know how I uncovered the Organon's conspiracy? Well, of course! You fought your way through hundreds of Organon soldiers to beat the truth out of Cletus. That's how you learned that the Elysians are planning to blast Deponia to pieces. But they have no idea that Deponia is inhabited. Prime controller Ulysses and Argos, his henchmen, are keeping this fact a secret. And they got Cletus to falsify his report to reflect that. Wow! Sounds like you were there! This is a pretty good recap exposition. Even if it's mostly BS, the meat of it's okay. Have you also heard the that I prevented the, the depopulation of the Rust Red Sea? Naturally! You led the Rebel attack against an Organon blast tower. You blocked the bomb suspension clamps all by yourself, and then you proceeded to save Gull from the claws of her devious would-be fiancé, Cletus. That's exactly how it happened. All right. Do you realize it was me who started the rebellion against the Organon? Who else? In the floating black market, you had the idea to look for comrades in arms to fight against the Dark Eastern. That's where you recruit Janusz, Garlic, and Liebel, who happened to be floating past in a pickle barrel. Gosh, even those are things I made up. <laughs> How about a little photo session? Oh, fantastic! Hmm, let's see. What would be a suitable subject? I could take a picture of you saving Gull. Yeah, but then she would be in the picture too, right? Wouldn't that distract unnecessarily from the protagonist? God, Quite on the contrary. It would emphasize your selflessness. You think so? Mm. All right, then get ready and uh, make sure my selflessness is clearly visible in the picture. Again, I did not know that would end the conversation. The cannon. Huh, the cannon is aiming directly at the axle. How refreshingly careless. 
Wait, though, I'll shoot you free. But you're a crap shot! <laughs> yeah, I'm a crack shot. Ah! Dang, the cannon's aim is off. Can't see what this might do. Oh, it moves the box. Genius! You found the cruiser's manual speed control! Exactly! The manual uh, thing of me. <gasps> I feel another brilliant Rufus maneuver coming up! Yeah, can you try to feel it without making so much noise? Are you going to start the extreme action now? The what? Well, the action! A super extreme Rufus maneuver! Uh yeah, exactly. Um, totally extreme. This is so exciting! Damn it, fanboy. Are you going to start oh. the... Well, a super... Uh, yeah. Um, this is so exciting! You're not helping, kid. Um, I see. You're accelerating the cruiser instead of stopping it like everyone else would have done. That's because everyone else is an idiot. And the cutter being caught in the cogs is part of your plan as well, right? Uh, sure. Are you excited? Like an egg in a platypus egg catapult. Hey, how long have you been watching me? Uh, quite a while. Whoa, that's uh, <laughs> incredible. Incredibly appropriate. You got a stalker. Aw, oh, bummer. No more ammo. Um, oh, please! <laughs> See those sparks fly! <laughs> um, woohoo! Faster still! This is so rad! My coat is on fire, but I'm still very happy to be part of this. Luckily, the Organon is known for its Excellent fire protection measures. Nah, that's just propaganda. I bet my boots. Your boots on now. Poor guy. Hey, wake up! You're sleeping through the peak of my selflessness. Rat. But alas, ooh, karma. Now who's gonna document my selfless feet? Go. For this, I need nothing but my fingers and my legendary ability to ignore the call of reason. Oh God. I promised Gole I would never throw axes at her again, although I'm sure she regrets that now. Sure. The cat is aiming directly at the axle. Oh, How wretchedly careless. <laughs> yeah, she's hot. <laughs> she's hot. Well, I'll use a potion. There we go. Uh, what? Uh, daredevil. The cutter struck sails, wrecked as Tony's mum scales, and up as much a whale for the long road ahead. Still, the mood in the group was just super whoopy doop, yeah, except that they slowly grew ripe for the bad. For they knew that they would have to go on by foot. No problem for such a walk, it's all the less stressful if you sing along with a motivating song. And to emphasize this, I flapped the cabin of the coast guys with helium gas. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. This is done. I'm going to call.
call it. If you enjoyed, please like, comment, or subscribe. Or not. I'm not the boss of you, but we'll let this play out first. Little tiny silhouettes. Ha! Yeah! And wow! The way I took out that Organon with my shadow attack! Did you see that? For the thousandth time, Rufus. That was so cool! They call him Rufus! Rufus! Oh. Everybody now! He's cool and he's smart! It's something, something modern art! What? Hey! Where are you going? There's a hotel down there. I really need a wash. Especially for my ears. All right. But, but... Gold? Come on, Rufus. Are you, are you mad at me? Dirty, battered, humiliated, all of that. But mad at you? No. She's just come to expect it. It was you. actually kind of cool. <laughs> oh yeah! Something, something modern art! <laughs> uh, he'll never learn. Haha! -ha, stairs, dark and steep and slippery. Huh. I'd better take a jump. After all, I hate to. Yep. Saw it coming. Uh, fall on my butt. That would be too embarrassing. Alright, I've already done my outro, so thank you very much everybody. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!